Welcome back, folks. This is the Vigilante Crafter. You can call me Vigil. I want to welcome you all to the show today. Thank you for watching. Also want to let you guys know today we are going to do a Sweetberry Farm. So let's hop right into it. How you doing? Once again, my name is Vigil. We're going to build the Sweetberry Farm right here. And I'm in my tutorial world that I call lab time. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing I want to do today is I want to let you know that this is a very, very simple farm to build. And this is how we're going to build it. Probably should have prepped a little bit more. But I think I have everything here. And uh, let's get the berries. Boy, these are loud. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off. <laughs> that sounds a lot better. Hope you folks are having a great weekend. Go ahead and get this out of here. I'm just kind of zoom up around here. So when I say this is a simple farm, it is, I mean, it, it's very simple. You, you just need a fence post, a fox, and some berry bushes that grow, and then, they can, and then you can replicate them. However, I've made it a little bit more advanced because I put a collection system underneath. First thing I want to do is I just want to show you the basics of kind of building it out. So you're going to go like that, right? And then... You're going to have, I'm trying to simulate, you know, survival role. Then you're going to have this guy out here. And foxes kind of run away from you, so you trap him. You like that. You put him on there. And then, let me get the berries. You take the berries. And you build them around. You plant them around this fence post. So what's going to happen is as they grow, the fox is going to actually try to go eat the berries. What's After he eats so many berries, his mouth's going to get full. And they'll just pop off. Kind of like this right here. See? And they'll just float. Waiting for someone to come pick them up. Right, very, very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've built a seven by seven square here, and I feel, I don't know, you could probably go eight by eight, nine by nine. I really don't know how far that lead stretches, but I know they're able to uh, corral through and, and knock a lot of the berries off. Get this bed out here. Go ahead and sleep real quick. I know it's creative, but keeps everything reset. <laughs> Storms and whatnot. Alrighty, so let's kind of. So now that I've showed you that how easy it is to build. You know, and, and the same. And the thing is, is the fox and the berry bushes they're in the same biome so once you're in that biome just make sure you grab some berry bushes and have a lead on you when you go into the uh the forest biome i'm not i can't remember exactly what the biome's called but it's it's like a you know dark it's i'd have to look it up i'm not going to guess so anyway let's jump right into it i'm going to get rid of all this stuff why because I just want to build it out. We're going to have to get rid of you, buddy. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. See you later. <laughs> that is one way to get rid of them. All 
All right, so the first thing the first thing I like to do with this farm is I want to build my pillars. And we'll just kind of do a little mirror image to that. So if we go from the paths, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to go three up. Remember, in here, inside is going to be seven by seven. So now we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to that corner, put one out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that corner out. One, whoops, where are we at? One, sorry, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How to count with vigil, yeah, not too well. <laughs> Do not count on me for counting. <laughs> One, two, all right, so now we're going to go ahead and, now, beginning game, you might not have rails, you might not have these hoppers or whatnot like that, so, you know, you could just build it up and just have, have them float, and then you could just walk in and go collect them. Now, in survival, the, you know, you're going to be you're going to lose health walking through here, but you don't really lose that much. So. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and put down, lay down the track. Why we're in creative makes it a little bit easier. And this track, folks, you can figure out how you want to lay it down. I just, I'm just laying it down this particular direction. It can go this way, the other way. I mean, you can figure out, a, you know, a few different ways of how to lay it. To me, it just feels like this is the most efficient way for me, anyway. I just like the look. And we're going to go ahead and grab a little power block. And we just kind of go down the middle here. And these will be our powered rails. All right? Got to keep the cart going. For right now, we'll leave these unpowered. Let's go ahead and get the levers. There we go. So we're going to take the lever and go like that. And go on this side. And go like that. And we're going to get our hopper with minecart. Put that right there. And we'll watch that move. And as that zigzags back and forth, that will collect all the bears. Oh, we could leave one on. So now we're going to get some dirt. Yep, and we're in the amazing... Uh, flying motion of creative, we're going to go ahead and just float. Go ahead and fill this all up. There we go. Looks okay. Then we're going to take our fence post. And it could be any fence post. I'm using spruce. You want to pop that right in the middle. There is a middle. One, two, three. I think it's right there. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the middle. 
and we'll place a fox down and we'll grab it with our lead and we'll apply it. Now, you only need one fox. If you want to get if you want to collect the berries a little bit faster, you're going to you're going to keep adding foxes and you could breed them with right in within here too. And the way you become semi friends, I say semi friends because you don't really fully become friends like you do with a wolf or a cat. But you could feed them berries. And they become yours. See, they have little hearts come up, just just like they do, and they they, they kind of follow you around, but but they don't. So that's why the leads are mo more important. And so we're gonna go ahead and just do two. I like to do at least two. Go ahead and drop another one. Grab it with the lead. Put them on there. So now there you go. And go ahead. They put them together, and then that guy just runs around, right? So you want to grab him, put him right there. So you can put as many as you want. However, like I said, two's enough. Okay. No baby foxes were hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> I thought they were going to mess that up. See, even in creative, things get messed up. That's fine. What we need to do is just go ahead and come back here and just let them all go. There goes that. <laughs> See how they run? Once you get them, they run away. They don't want to do anything with you. They want nothing to do with you, even if you like, if, even if they like you. So that's gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get over here, buddy. We're gonna take you. We're gonna put you right here. Get you out of the way. <laughs> All right, let's go back to our dirt. Sorry about the distraction there. Okay. So now let's go like this, go like this, go like that. Right? We'll apply that. Now we're going to put all the berries. And if you don't have enough berries to start this off. All you need is one. Once they grow, harvest them and then plant again. So what's interesting about the foxes, they don't take any damage when they run through these berry bushes. Which allows us to utilize that mechanic because they keep knocking off all the berries when their mouth is full. So now we'll go ahead and put this fence around. And the fence will prevent the berries from falling out. Not sure if it's totally lossless, but it's pretty close. Pretty close. And folks, we are at the tail end of this tutorial. I hope it I hope I defined it pretty well as being simple. You know, I would say the hard part is finding the fox and berries, <laughs> you know, when you're in survival. However, you just got to find the right biome. It's, it's a type of forest biome. Hey, little guy. We're just going to leave him out there for right now. He's in the way. All righty. See, there we go. And now... Thought I had a shovel, I guess not. Just gonna mirror this right here. 
then we skip one, and then we break. So that goes there. So you don't even need three hoppers when it comes to this either. You could just use one. I feel it's a little bit more efficient when you have three because more drop, more drops from the minecart. go. Let's take a quick nap. Oh, wrong way. I do suggest doing that first. I didn't do that first. <laughs> but it's totally up to you on what you want to do first and how you can do it first. Because a lot of times, you know, beginning game survival, you're probably not going to have this many rails or whatnot. So you're going to... Now we'll fill this all in. And there you go, folks. Definitely suggest lighting things up too. You know, make this non spawnable. That's why I put the slabs. But slabs are like this. Nothing will spawn. And you could go with torches, or you could go with lanterns like I did. I just spruced it up with some lanterns. Oh, yeah, and I use spruce, too, as well. <laughs> uh, so, folks, hey, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please put, down, put, uh, put them down in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you have any ideas uh, for what we need to collaborate on or a, a build you would like to see, please, why don't you give me a suggestion? You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Alrighty, folks. Hope we're all having a great weekend. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye. One more time. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that wasn't half as bad, Vigil. You did okay. You did okay.